Here, along the Monongahela River, 22 miles south of Pittsburgh, is the borough of Donora. Typical of many industrial towns, Donora had all the ingredients for disaster. It's built low, along the river, and hemmed in by steep hills that act as effective windbreaks. The streets are hilly with plenty of low pockets to trap the air. The entire area is one large pollutant source. Steel mills, sulfuric acid plants, heavy river traffic, and the freight yards. This is the way it was in October 1948, when an area-wide temperature inversion closed in. Hot, moist airs hung over the city, entrapping the cooler, stagnant air in the pockets below. No air could blow out, no air could rise. Donora was airtight. It took only two days for 6,000 people to become seriously ill, and for 20 of them to die. Since the disaster, little in Donora has changed. Exhaustive medical investigation uncovered a significant fact. No single gas was present in sufficient quantity to have caused these deaths. But the gas acting in combination with metallic dust clouds from other mills formed highly irritating and sometimes lethal secondary compounds. <laughs> 